Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be about ombre this 13 by 6 lace frontal HD unit. Okay? So, this unit right now, what I'm doing is I am pushing back all of the baby hairs with some water. So, a couple of this uh, clips in this videos will be fast forward, sped up, and some will be in real time so you can see what I'm doing. All right, right now I'm taking the remaining batch of my... Um, powder and I'm going to mix it in with my 30 volume developer I just put a little bit more because it was a little too thick so you want the consistency to be like oatmeal but not too clumpy definitely not like yogurt you don't want it to seep in because it will seep in all right so now what I'm doing I am applying the bleach on to the lace since this is a lace frontal pre-made unit I couldn't do the frontal obviously by itself so this posed um, you know an interesting challenge and this is how you do it I have a clip coming up that's a little bit better so you could see all right so I had to get my husband to help me and right now what I'm doing as you can see is you want to be very light with it and as millions of other videos on YouTube state yes just be very light when pressing it in so I'm going through and I want to make sure whatever crevices I didn't get right now it looks like I'm doing it a little hard but I'm really not I'm just smoothing it out and you want to get all of the crevices all of that part in the back because if you part it and you have a little black spot it's gonna show so you want to get in all the corners Corners. I start from the back because the back seems to take longer to process because the knots are a little bit thicker and then I work my way up to the front because the knots are thinner and it processes a lot quicker and this hair like processes really really quickly it was awesome really really awesome okay so as you can see I'm getting the ear tab sides now you want to kind of look take the lace um, don't look at it, how do I describe it? Don't look at it where you are putting the bleach on. Look at the front of the lace to see and make sure that all of the knots have been covered. Because sometimes you may miss one or two knots um, at the very top of the hairline. And then now you have two black knots. So just double check that and make sure everything looks good, all right? So now we got everything all the bleach on and I am taking a plastic bag and I'm going to put a plastic bag inside of the wig now that's the only thing I can suggest to put you don't want to put anything that's like porous or anything so it won't seep through and you turn it over all right so it doesn't the lace doesn't sorry the the, the bleach doesn't bleed through the lace because gravity will make it go anyway we're on to now the next part and we are Bleaching and ombre the hair. So this is sped up, but this is what I'm going to just walk you through it. All right. I am feathering the top. Okay. I saturate the bottom. Make sure it's saturated on the back side, the front, the middle. Make sure there's no blotchy parts. And I'm going to kind of like just feather and paint the hair a little bit um, when I get to the, the, the more towards the root of the, the hair. All right, and as you can see, that way it won't be such a hard line and it'll be more of a gradual um, color, change of color, all right? So we're going to this next section and I start from the bottom and we go all the way to the top. So you just see my process of how I'm doing it. And um, this hair was 150 density, so it wasn't very thick. I got through this process, I believe, in about 20 minutes. Or probably, yeah, let's say 20 to 25 minutes. Left it on for about, uh, left it on for about a good 30 something um, minutes but I did not put foil on it I just left it out and I just left it to dry so right now we are just going to continue to go on and put this bleach on and I'm going for a straight look initially so I just wanted to not really focus all the way at the bottoms but because I was going to cut maybe like an inch off but I wanted to make sure that there was enough color at the top you know what I'm saying so it will show since I didn't want this to be like super super blonde I only left it on let me not say 30 minutes like let me take that back I probably left it on for like 20 minutes and I didn't put um put it under any saran wrap or put any foil on it because I just wanted to look at it and I wasn't trying to get it like super super blonde I just wanted to get it 
lift it about three shades to four shades and I think I succeeded now this is always tricky because when you have bleach um, or you know when you have um, lifting the hair and it's white it always seems to look lighter like you're like oh my god I have 613 hair no you don't all right sit down calm down <laughs> you should just leave it on until the recommended time so this section that I've been doing it looks like I've been doing it forever I just doing that section but it's good to always part the hair in four sections um right now since it was so thin I didn't have to do all that I just took it and just went around the hair literally parted straight down all right so now we're getting into the just as you saw I just did a little more feathering and I just take the parts that aren't saturated on my glove with anything and just saturate and smooth it out at the top so it's just nice and smooth. Now we are washing the hair. All right, guys, check it out, check it out. This color came out really, really nicely. I love that it still has some sheen to it. It still feels soft. It's amazing, all right? And we are washing everything out first. I believe I put some purple shampoo in, and I didn't leave it on for long. Maybe literally just put it on and took it off. But if you do want that nice, um look you should leave the purple shampoo on i would say good two days you can get a nice um what you call it? you could get a nice tone with that and take out all the brassy color like it really works but you need two days okay so don't be in a rush otherwise it's not gonna work now this right now is just showing you how the uh knots looked amazing all right so we are just washing everything out you want to make sure the water comes out nice and clear that way you know everything is good to go and I am going to pretty much just keep oh now we're going to put some fructose not this not fructose um you, you saw the name sorry <laughs> we're gonna put some conditioner in it and this is a good conditioner for curly hair it's very very um it keeps it moisturized, yes, and it's not overly expensive because I do use expensive shampoo and conditioner in my units. And by expensive, I mean they could cost from 20 to $30. And that's especially for like curly hair and stuff because I want it to last. This unit right now, since I just got it, I did not shampoo it. I just wanted to condition it. Since I put some, lifted the color, you're stripping the hair so you want to add more conditioning and moisture back to the hair of course so we are washing it out the best way to wash hair which I do have a video about this is you take from the top and you go to the bottom and by the top I mean towards the roots so you go from the roots all the way to the tips because you don't want it to be the um, like tangle or anything you just want everything to actually you want to push everything down you know what I'm saying? Gravity, gravity hair is like science, okay? It really is. So if you're good at science, know some physics and stuff like that, yeah, it'll be really cool and, and, and fun for you to experiment, you know, and try this stuff out. But don't do that, okay? Leave all of that stuff up to me. I just want to show you the process so you can see how we make your marvelous and beautiful wigs, all right? So right now we're just making sure everything is washed out. We're getting all the conditioner out and making sure the water is nice and clear. All right, here we go. Next one. Now we are blowing it out. So I am taking this brush. It's not obviously a blowout brush. If you have kinky hair, this is, well, this might be a good brush to just comb it out at first, but sidebar. Um, I'm just taking this so I can just have something. I just want to dry the hair really quickly. Um, and right now what I want to do, I don't want any body, so I'm not trying to take any, um, a round brush to give it any body. I just want it bone straight. Like I just want it flat straight. I don't want any bump, nothing. All right. So we are drying and drying and drying. And for the most part, this process is pretty much, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's tedious <laughs> it's tedious but the good thing is is that the hair dries really quickly and one thing that I noticed I've had the hair for a couple weeks and it really does not shed okay this hair like one or two strands came out that is just marvelous now and that pretty much came out of the frontal part of course it's knotted so you know if you do some manipulation to it you're going to get one or two but 
after that, nothing else. Dry comb it, wet comb it. It was like amazing. Like nothing came out on that brush. Disregard whatever was in the brush before. Nothing came out. Um, the hair dried. And look at the color. Like look how nice that color is. It's a nice chocolate brown. Oh my gosh. Like this color is amazing. Yes. And I love the density. I mean, I do not like big, big hair unless it's like big curls or it's like kinky curly hair. Then I like it big. But for the straight look, I am loving it. It's not too thin. It gave the nice flowy feel with the bob because it was a long bob that I was going for that it came below my, past my shoulders and I'm pretty short. So for somebody else it might have came like by their sh up at their shoulders but for the most part it was amazing and it's almost finished drying all right so we are going to do a quick pluck we did not pluck the hair before we bleached it um that's a preference sometimes i do sometimes i don't but the reason why i did that because i wanted to see what it's going to look like it already looks you know nice when it's bleached so let's just see how nice it's look and all right here we go we did the plucking and i don't like a lot of pluck so that's how we plucked it okay and we are straightening the hair right now so straightening the hair i am pressing the top part out so it will not be lumpy at the top and it won't be like humpy and it will be nice and flat because if your real hair is it's really flat here's just a how like deep and like i'm pressing into it so here's me flat ironing it i am now straightening it because i want it to be bone straight and it's good to always straighten the hair before you cut it and this is the clip i am cutting it sorry this didn't get you know shot very well but i pretty much did like uh point cutting and then i took and i straight cut it blood cut it afterwards but as you can see we just wanted to and i didn't need to cut it in like sections because like it's a 150 density it's pretty thin so i just went around and cut it yeah sorry about that i have to just shift the wig <laughs> it's a little upside but there it is there's the end result thanks for watching